big move in Washington this week that affects all of us who go online. It could change how you get movies from Netflix, products on Amazon, and how much you pay for them, too. ABC's Jeff Zellin explains that debate opened up by the FCC and what it means for you. The Internet, famously so egalitarian. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. Anyone can start a multi-billion dollar business in their dorm room or garage. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. But is that about to change? One heartbeat away from the presidency, not a single vote cast in my name. Democracy is so overrated. There are new fears Washington may take that wide open superhighway and turn it into a toll road, allowing internet giants like Verizon and Comcast to charge your favorite websites for faster service into your home leaving you stuck with the bill and leaving the little guys stuck in the slow lane or never getting off the ground. If this had been in place all along, what innovations do you think uh, we um, wouldn't have now? I'm not sure Twitter ever gets started because the cable company will say, Twitter, this, how's this going to make money for us? Forget it. Internet providers insist innovation won't be stifled and say a two-tiered system is a matter of fairness. The debate has drawn protests, but regulators say, don't worry. Personally, I don't like the idea that the internet could be divided into haves and have nots. And I will work to see that that does not happen. The FCC will issue a decision this summer that could pave the way for a new divide on the internet. For this week, Jeff Zeleny, ABC News, Washington. Let's get more on this now from Corey Johnson, anchor and internet expert for Bloomberg Television. Thanks for being here. You've said this will be one of the most consequential decisions ever for the FCC. Why? Because this changes the future of business. Look, all the stuff we do on the internet, whether it's business, whether it's personal interactions, whether it's watching movies on Netflix, all those things are going to be changed by this decision. And, 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 and break it down a little bit. I think people hear the word net neutrality and, and kind of their it eyes glaze over. Glaze over but this is truly important. It's also really simple. This is just about how fast things happen on the Internet. We have painfully slow speeds for Internet connections in the U.S. And what this decision is trying to do is allow certain companies to have their own fast lane on the Internet. And the law currently allows for that. So, for example, Netflix has a deal with Comcast where they pay extra to move their content faster. That's great if you're a Netflix user or if you're Netflix itself. It's horrible if you're Amazon Prime or Hulu or a competitor. What if we lived in a world where this week of George Stephanopoulos was a little bit slower than Disney Channel's Phineas and Ferb? Now, everyone would rather watch this show than Phineas and Ferb. Well, not my kids, but maybe. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> but but just just by just by uh, the the cable provider making that choice, the internet service provider making that choice, they can give an advantage to one business over the other and change the content we consume as, as citizens. This is going to be a huge battle. You've got the the big cable companies, the internet service providers on the one side, big technology companies on the other. They're going to spend a fortune. What's your best guess now on how this is likely to play out? Well, there's tremendous uproar about this. There, there, are, there are so many companies that have come out and said we've got to have fair rules. Everything crosses the Internet, the backbone of the Internet, at about the same speed. But when it arrives in that last mile, that's when you have a handful of small companies with monopolies, companies like Comcast, Time Warner Cable, a little bit Verizon and AT&T. They control that last mile. They don't want to have rules. They want to be able to sell fast access. And they have a lot of power in Washington, D.C. But you have so many other companies that really want an equal playing field at the end of the, at the, end of the mile, that last mile of Internet broadcast, Internet uh, uh, speeds. And I think they're going to have just as, as loud a voice in Washington. We'll see that, as it usually happens in Washington, the biggest spender wins.